Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals and I have got a fun collection of papers and ephemera and embellishments on my desk in front of me, sort of like a purple floral journal inspiration board. I love this. I had to take a photo and just stop. Um, I have been finally starting work making a purple floral Excuse my cat in the background. <laughs> He's just playing with a cardboard box. Um, <laughs> I'm starting work on a purple floral journal featuring some beautiful scrapbook paper. And I'll give you a look at that scrapbook paper a little bit later. Um, and yeah, I started making the cover and I pulled out some lace. And I'm so excited because I love using lace in my journals. And I've used some down the spine, but I'm going to alternate these along the edges of the pages of the journal and then when I include lace I like to include charms and so I just went and collected a whole bunch of charms that I think I might want to use in the journal um, some purple ones and then I was looking at the other things that I had around and and then from there I kind of just exploded into this inspiration board so I thought I could use some eyelets to do a closure and we'll do some ribbon or seam binding for the closure and then I had these uh, sort of paper clips or bobby pin clips that I had decorated and I thought that would look nice for a pop of sparkle and I got purple bulb pins to go with the charms to hang off the lace and so yeah I just kept on going from there I was like what else can I put in this journal <laughs> and when I have a theme and a color that allows me to go through all of my stash and look for things that go along with the theme. So I've got my paint chips and then I've got my little transparent bottle stickers, which I love using and this floral purple stamp, a sticker stamp. I've got some of my tags and journal cards that I made. I just pulled out some of the purple ones, all different types of designs there. We've got some of my pockets and envelopes here. So I'm really, really having a lot of fun collecting pieces for this journal. So let's have a look at the papers. I'll go page by page and kind of share what I'm thinking. Um, and this is a journal making series over on my Patreon. Each month I do a different journal making series and I try to do as many different types as possible as many different types of themes and ways of making journals so for example we've done a paper bag journal we've done an envelope journal we've done a book cover journal um, and so this time what i wanted to do was use the scrapbook paper as the feature and show different ways that you can use scrapbook paper so for example you can use it as a cover you can use it as pages there's already some ready-made tags and journal cards in this kit, but I'm also going to show how I use the papers, cut them up to make pockets in all different ways. You know, top loading, bottom loading, um, rectangle, smaller, bigger, triangle pockets or diagonal pockets, belly bands, all that sort of thing. So I'll give you a look at the pages. These ones I'm going to be using as some of the feature pages because they're beautiful and double-sided. And then some of these I can... Um, cut into smaller or larger pages for my cover. Um, these ones I can turn into journal cards as is. Same with this, but I might use some of these as pockets. I'm not too sure yet. I, I won't necessarily cut these all out into journal cards. I might use them as um, different things. Like this might, would make a good pocket here, for example. I could cut this instead and make it into a tag rather than a journal card. Uh, so I'm going to try and use these papers in as many different ways as possible to give as many different ideas of ways you can take a scrapbook paper kit like this and really make the most of it and not have it just be like a standard boring um, journal just with the scrapbook paper in the way it was made. I mean, you could do that definitely as well and create a lovely journal, but as a journal artist, I want to... Um, add on and bring my own flavor into the journal and not just have the scrapbook papers and that's it and use them just as they are. I want to, you know, bring in all of the other things, the other embellishments and even just using the kit though, I want to, yeah, show how I can use it in a range of creative ways, not just the way that the kit sort of lays out for you. 
Uh, but it's a beautiful kit. I hope you enjoy this kit. Obviously, you can see it's Lush Lilac collection. And um, yeah, they've got a whole bunch of papers, lots of journal cards. This is why, as well, I think there's some doubles and I don't think I'm going to be using that many journal cards. So I've got to come up with other ways to use them. And that will be fun. So that will be very fun. Um, so I'm thinking some of them I'll cut up into smaller pieces or something and make some collage master boards and turn these into journal cards and tags that way. So it's a bit more creative rather than just cutting out like a stock standard um, journal card here. I can cut little pieces up, maybe fussy cut some bits and pieces and use them to decorate my collage master boards. Maybe use some vintage book page or vintage music paper in the background. Fussy cut some of these and stick them on top as a feature. That's just one example. Or cut these out in, or rip them up into random pieces and collage with these pieces themselves all ripped up. So I'm like, I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> I'm so, 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 so excited. I love having this challenge of working with something pre made or pre prepared. So I, I've really enjoyed that challenge. I've noticed when I did a um, digital kit journal making series and then I did a um, your creative studio box and made a journal out of that and that was so wonderful for my creativity because you know you have this limited supply of what's in the box and I just had to sort of put them together in different ways to create some journals and I really enjoyed that challenge so that's why I'm really enjoying um, using this scrapbooking kit because I can then take what's already here and then yeah work with it however I want to and I don't know I'm really really excited <laughs> um, I, I had no idea that I'd be this excited about um, using kits because it's only been recently in the last few months that I've used kits as part of my journal making series over on my patreon um, I'll give you a look at these I've already shared a look at these though um, previously uh, but for those who might have missed might have missed it or who want a, another look these are some printables that I created as well so along with a journal making series each month I also release a printable kit each month for my beautiful patrons and it just so happened that this kit I didn't plan it this way but it happened that this kit works so well with the purple scrapbook paper so I'm gonna pull out the ones that have purple flowers and use them as pages in the journal as well. And I did provide the background by itself. So you can print them double-sided with flowers on one side and this background out on the other. But because I've printed on cream paper, I don't need to worry about that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use them as is. And I think that will really be lovely and give it a vintage look, the um, purple scrapbook papers and it will just tone them down a little like they're very bright and I mean they don't need toning down if you don't want to tone them down but I think it would be nice to pair it with some more cream and vintage tones to it and that way yeah I can add a lot more and do a lot more with that kit um, and yeah, like I said do some collage master boards maybe with some vintage book pages and music paper that kind of thing this kit I printed on white paper but I'm going to use the ones printed on cream paper so there's a little tip for you if you don't want to um, have to print double-sided you can just use cream paper and then you already have lovely cream colored papers for, for your vintage journals I mean obviously you can use white as well and yeah these are ready to go so I've already printed them out which I'm really really excited about and obviously I'm going to get some other pages um, collect some other papers for the journal for my writing pages and to keep it you know um, that in that junctional style with variety so there'll be like a doily an envelope page there'll be pocket pages there'll be some vellum maybe yes yeah, some vintage music paper and some vintage book page um, and yeah oh, so fun I was originally only just going to limit myself to only using the scrapbook paper um, but I think it's just exploding now and we're going to be combining it and uh, that's that's fun too to show I'll still you show how I use all the scrapbook paper in different ways but I'm also going to add it and show how it's so versatile you don't just have to use scrapbook paper you can add it with your own creative spin 
your own creative flair and you can add all of the other things too. You can add all of the tags and journal cards and embellishments and ephemera that you make yourself or that you find, you know, like the paint chips. I didn't make the paint chips, but I want to include those as well. So I don't know, I am just really excited. It kind of just turned into something even bigger than what I was expecting. Uh, but that's made me super excited now because I get to use more of my own sort of creativity. And I will just put this back here so you can see them on camera, all the purple gorgeousness. I mean, purple is such a fun color to work with. I don't often work with purple because I find it's hard to find enough purple supplies so that is maybe another reason why I'm excited to work with purple do something a bit different um and of course I just love florals <laughs> florals are great so it kind of might be like a botanical floral garden journal and honestly I'm kind of thinking in my mind I've got so much stuff that there might be enough to make two journals maybe more but yeah over for the patreon uh, journal making series I'm going to concentrate on just decking this one out we're going to fully load this one up with all the things <laughs> and um, then we'll see what might be left over if I make another journal with it or combine it with something else entirely a whole other theme maybe just include it as freebies for anyone who might be interested in owning the journal once it's made I don't know there's so many ideas anyway I'm going to keep getting going with this series I'm literally going to stop filming this video and pick up where I left off for that series here um, so I've, I've done the first video making the cover and just talking about some ideas there because like I said in the when I first started the series I had absolutely no idea what I was doing I was going to make a paper bag journal or I was going to make an envelope journal so um, the series is more like a behind the scenes look and a look into my brain and my thought process as I make things. Um, so yeah, if you would like to check out that journal making series, uh, you can click the link down below in the description box to my Patreon and you can see all the journal making series there. Once they're up, they're always up. So you can always go back and watch the old ones as well. And the Ruby patrons also get access to the printable kit. Um, so if you'd like to follow along, feel free to check that out and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. A big thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in August. Thank you so much for allowing me to create full time and share videos daily. If you would like to become a patron in September, the link is down below in the description box and that's where you get access to extra videos, sneak peeks of all my creations and first access to them. Um, you get the journal making series. I do a journal making series each month over there and printables for the Ruby tier and higher and mail sent to you for the higher tiers. There's also access to the Intentional Life course and the Marco Polo group if you're interested in that tier. And yeah, check out my journaling courses down below as well. They are open anytime throughout the year.